Looks boring. That is fun. What is up guys? Today I want to talk about my most anticipated uh, release of 2016, which is the Rival Atlas. So the Rival 9 has been around for around a year and it's supposed to deliver like better performance and better accuracy. The Atlas is a shotgun style blaster which has a nice pump action draw and shoots two balls at once. Which is also the best feature because up until now you didn't really have a cool like shotgun style blaster which has this nice long draw. So the first impression you would get after playing with this gun is, it's tons of fun. Up here is the 12 round magazine, which is a little bit weird to handle at first, but after a while you get used to it and it's rather okay. <laughs> Not smooth, but yeah, that's one of the downsides of the blaster. The other one is that it's really front heavy, I mean it's like really big to begin with, and with all the plastics and mechanisms inside, it's really, really front heavy. But since you're supposed to have like your offhand on the pump grip, it doesn't really matter that much. So in comparison, the Apollo is like way smaller and lightweight and um, I don't know, it performs a little bit better, but the priming mechanism isn't that fun like with the uh, a pump action shotgun. So as always it comes down to your personal preference what you like better but uh, I personally uh, of course enjoy both blasters but if you're just playing around by yourself that this one is definitely like more fun to play with. At the same time I think it's nice to have like all the blasters with different attributes because if this blaster would perform the same way as the Apollo, like talking about performance, it would render the Apollo completely like useless or redundant. So I think it's cool if like, yeah, the blasters have a different level of performance and uh, whatnot. And this one um, also shoots two, as already mentioned, and the spread at about 30 feet is maybe like one feet like apart for the balls, uh, which is cool, I think, and yeah. That's something different definitely. So the ideal nerf war with like using the rivals only would be like in my opinion that like you have like four members and every member has like the other uh, blaster class and um, you could like fill in different roles. So that's how I would set up a nerf game featuring the rival blasters. And by the way the XVI stands for 16 which is the year of the release and the 1200 represents the uh, capacity of the uh, ammo. Of course you have to take off the two zeros. So that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the rival line in general and about the Atlas itself. I personally really enjoy this blaster. It's one of my favorite releases of this year. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.